Hey, good day, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is a voice in the wilderness with Lad from the Woods. It is Saturday, July 17th. Anyways, I got a surprise show today from Jimmy Dore. I was like, whoa, I was just in the middle of getting ready to start, uh, you know, doing some videos. And uh, boom, I get the live alert from Jimmy. I'm like, fuck, this is Saturday, man. So anyways, I was going to do this a uh, couple hours ago, but <clears throat> I didn't want to miss the show. So anyhow, uh, he did bring up one subject that's been gnawing at me, and uh, and I'm going to do my own video of it. Plus, I, I might have done one before, but this will just be like even more. Um, now, Jen Saki or whatever her name is, Pisaki, uh, was on the TV and talking about, you know, how how uh, misinformation and Biden saying misinformation is killing people and blah, 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 blah. No, it's not. Okay. First of all, um, it, it's up to people reading it. Okay. To act as adults. And if they're given one set of information, well, then there should be lots of other information as well. And then they can go peruse, uh, the different things and make a decision for themselves. The government doesn't need to be having Facebook censor. We're trying to fight Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Google, uh, at Al, that, you know, they shouldn't be censoring either way. And it, it's now the government wants to get in on this and tell people what, what is misinformation or not. Well, okay. What would you have done in the Fultzy situation where he gave out a lie, bad information last uh, la February about the masks? Jimmy has talked about it a lot. And uh, then he lies and then that's misinformation he put out there. And it was on Facebook and it was other places. And, uh, you know, CNN does this regularly. You know, now it's the latest thing. Well, the latest thing a few weeks back was the thing whether it was uh, animal transmitted or come out of a lab. Well, you know, so misinformation. So this is why Facebook and companies like that can't be relied upon to to deal with these sorts of things. You have to just leave it on there. It's like, you know, you go to a TV channel and an evangelist comes on there and starts going yickety yak about the invisible man in the sky. Well, for me, that's misinformation. That may not be misinformation for other people, but they're adults, they can decide. Just like I'm an adult. I don't need the government deciding, or especially Facebook. What I need for the government is, is to put the clamps down on Facebook and these other companies and maintain the First Amendment so that you can't ban people people like Trump or people on the on the on the left or you know otherwise or this or that you just have to live with it you know uh, I just there was an article or something that I had just stumbled across in which uh, it was Christopher Hitchens that was saying you know that sometimes things you don't like happen because of the First Amendment this is why we you know why the Americans fought for it and why free speech here in Canada we fight for it and uh, you know uh, this went back to, I don't know, the 1930s, and there was a church in Indiana. No, a church. It was, um, sorry, it was after World War II, and it was at an old age home. And some Nazis, I guess, came into town, marched in front of the old age home, which was full of uh, vets. And yeah, you know, sick. It's disgusting. But you have to protect their freedom of speech just as much as mine or you or anybody else. And uh, yeah, it sucks, but you have to protect it. It's that simple. And, uh, you know, it, it, it comes down to, is that okay, we start banning them and then you start banning people like me because I'm not of the ruling class because that's where YouTube is headed. The ruling class is starting to run it. And that's, you know, lying organizations like CNN, Fox, uh, MSNBC, OAN, all of these ones. I mean, you know, half the stuff they put out there on both sides of the ledger is complete bullshit. And it doesn't benefit anybody below the ruling class. And, uh, you know, they, they lie on a regular basis and spread misinformation. Uh, this Brian Stelzer guy, I mean, good Lord, where did they, he has to have that job only because he must have a family member working at CNN or somebody rich that said, my idiot son needs a job. So this is what they did. The guy is completely clueless, out of his fucking mind when he interviews, uh, you know, I mean, all he could do literally is give a, a guy like Biden a blowjob in an interview. I mean, fuck. Uh, 
I think of Tim, what's his name, that used to be on Meet the Press. Uh, I mean, at least he knew how to do an interview and he wasn't on his knees sucking President's cocks like, uh, like Stelzer. You know, like, holy fuck. So anyways, I mean, so these are all mis misinformation uh, people too, but YouTube gets to decide whether you see Jimmy Dore or this one based on their ideas of, of freedom of speech. Well, it is not their ideas. It's in the American Constitution. And whether you like some people or not, listen, there's a lot of right-wing people that think that guy should be thrown out of the thing. Every ruling elite on the planet thinks that anybody from the middle class on down shouldn't have a voice. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just not going to be allowed to happen. Now, I mean, I've, I've added my videos now to Daily Motion and Odyssey because I don't trust YouTube or the government to uh, start obeying laws. But at some point, something's going to have to break here. And, uh, you know, I think it's the government that has to break and say, okay, you know what? If somebody breaks a law on your platforms, you know, local law enforcement. So if Joe Blow says something that he shouldn't be or it's illegal or against an American law or whatever have you on there, that's called breaking the law where you make a threat or blackmail like that slut from uh, the Young Turks. Uh, that's breaking the law. But if it's just speech where some guy uh, like Alex Jones is railing on about the color of pine trees for three and a half hours, Sorry, man, you just have to let it go and turn the channel. You don't want to listen to them, don't listen to them. But don't tell me that I can't or other people, okay? So then, like I say, it's not it's not about right or left either because, you know, <clears throat> I can get thrown off the channel just as quick as Alex Jones, and he was somebody, at least. But, I mean, uh, for me, I mean, he's not an elite. He's down in the lower half of the world. And uh, so, for me... Hey, buddy, knock yourself out. I'll fight and die to protect your right for free speech. Don't expect me to agree with you, but you're going to be allowed to speak. And you know what? Sometimes there are things I agree with him. He does come to a point where it's like, oh, okay, well, that's the same as us. You know, uh, middle class, uh, to me, ruling class, uh, not the ruling class elites. So uh, anyhow, um, you people out there really got to start screaming. Uh, you know, try and join as many channels as you can if you're into the politics things, because if you don't, this stuff's going to disappear. And you already know that you can't get reliable or true news out of any of the big mainstream media. And, you know, to go to the smaller ones, you really got to pick it out. But uh, no, I mean, we've got to stop the government from treating us all like children. I'm sorry, I don't need the government telling me what I can and cannot say or what I can and cannot read. And uh, I'm sorry, if people read the misinformation and decide not to check on their own, well, that's what Darwin's all about. Uh, some people learn, some people don't. And you can't protect every single person on the planet. You don't anyway, it's all hypocritical. I mean, there's more people dying every, uh, every hour on this planet of starvation, kids in particular, than it, any pandemic has gone on. Uh, malaria has killed more people on the planet than, than anything else, okay? So, I mean, but people still go down to these places, don't get their malaria shots or whatever, and then, you know, they get they get sick. Happens all the time. People here, you know, they go out, they don't wear socks, they get a tick, they get Lyme disease, they're sick. You can't do this. And you can't make other people like me go suffer because, yeah, I got my vaccination and I decided to take the science, and so hopefully I live. But Joe Blow next door doesn't want to get it. It's nobody's goddamn business. And if he drops dead because of it, well, that's Darwin in action. He decided not to listen to science. But it isn't my place or you or anybody else, the government, to tell people what they have to do. You know? So I'm not saying that, uh, that you shouldn't or you should. You know, I think that if you're smart, you would because, I mean, their sickness is for real. But there are people that just simply don't want to go that route. You have to leave them be. Okay? And Darwin will sort them out. And maybe he won't. I don't know. But that shit's got to stop, man. I mean, way too much control. And, uh, I mean, 
this this girl that runs YouTube, I mean, who is she to decide what people see or don't see or anything? YouTube was supposed to be about regular people. That's why I joined and then I decided I'd do videos because it's supposed to be, you know, thousands and thousands or tens of thousands of regular people, you know. But now when I type news in, I get nothing but CNN and MSNBC. I have to go digging, you know, and I can't even, you know, I actually, I, I should see if I can block all the mainstream media channels that I don't watch to see if there's a way to block them from being seen uh, because you know there's no way that I have any interest in what they have to say so I'd rather dig through 30 channels and listen to an hour of Chris Como I mean you know, come on you know this guy's so full of shit he doesn't know which way from down or up or anything and uh, you know I turned it on on the TV and it's just the absolute empty minded eyes there's just nothing there these people um, you watch that uh, Steltzer guy and there's just nothing there not a brain it's just empty headed millennial uh, I guess that's what he is I don't know it doesn't matter what age he is it, it's just that he's an empty suit with an empty head yet yet he comes he puts himself across like he's important you're not and he isn't you know uh, Joe Rogan in the first 20 minutes gets more people watching uh, his show than Steltzer will ever fucking get. So tell me what's wrong there, Mr. I'm an expert on uh, mainstream media. You're not, you sausage-headed looking fuck. Yeah, he's one of those guys you just fucking know. That he wouldn't have gotten that job if it wasn't for Rich Daddy or Uncle or somebody pushed the right buttons. And the idiot, what is it, Zucker, Brian Zucker that owns uh, CNN, Jeff Zucker, the idiot goes and hires him because he's got somebody pushing on his thing. And of course, Brian is so stupid and on his knees blowing everybody, he'll just...